save these drippings. Peeling away that scapula. So good meat. <clears throat> Boy, that's good right there. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Okay, first batch of sauce. Take your vinegar. This is going to go on stove. Bring it to a simmer. Let it simmer for a little while. Let the red pepper settle in. Then this will go on the meat. Once it's picked, we got to pull all the meat first. Once the meat's picked and pulled, we'll bathe it in this. Let that simmer for about an hour. And then we're going to take all this first batch of sauce off. A little bit of heat. The black pepper's heat, red pepper's flavor. And then at the end I'm going to put a, just a quarter cup or a half cup of your favorite mustard sauce in there just for something. I don't know why. Alright, let that meat cool off. And we'll simmer this and then we'll baste it in this for an hour. And we'll pull all this sauce off because it'll be full of fat and we'll put a new fresh batch on. Be back. Right, let's fix up these cracklings and go back in the skillet. Now these cracklings can go right back in there. Not gonna hurt a thing, I guarantee you. Not gonna hurt a thing. It's also going next. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Okay, I'm gonna soak this sauce on there. Nothing secret to it. All right, back in. She's all sauced up and stirred up. Let that go for another hour. Okay, hour later. I think it's uh, time to take that old sauce off. Okay, keep labeling this old sauce off. Okay, second batch of sauce is ready and I just put a little bit of this mustard stuff in there. Boy, that vinegar is strong. Stand back. Recover it. It's gonna soak it up for another half hour. Stir that up. Strong. Let's pull it all around. Let's take it back in the oven for another 45 minutes to an hour. It's raining out for a little bit. 